Skill shots are a core part of many action games. The feeling of aiming, pressing a button, and nailing an elusive target can be very rewarding. But what happens when your players miss? In this video, I give four reasons why skill shots in your game should accomplish something even when they fail to hit their target. I'm Ananda, and this is Practical Game Design. A skill shot is any ability that involves aiming and firing a projectile of some sort at a target. The term is common in MOBAs, but it applies to many other genres as well. The skill involved consists of aiming and timing the shot correctly since the target is usually moving. Skill shots often have a travel time. An ability that instantly hits is a hit scan ability, which is related but only tests the player's aim, not their timing. Some examples of skill shots are Chromie's Sand Blasts in Heroes of the Storm, Archer Arrows in King Arthur's Gold, and most of the spells in Mage Quit. Including skill shots in your game rewards players in a very visceral way. To land a skill shot, you have to predict where your target will be and when, you have to aim correctly, and you have to release at the right moment. It challenges many different skills at the same time and provides a lot of room for players to improve. And it's easy to explain to players because there are no abstract concepts involved. People naturally understand projectile motion. There are all sorts of things that can happen when a skill shot hits its target, the most obvious being damage, but skill shots should also accomplish something even when they miss. Let's talk about why. Reason one. Make players feel that their actions matter. Games are about choices and consequences. The consequences of your actions might be good or bad, but if nothing happens when you act, it feels like you aren't interacting with the game. Whenever your player does something, there should be an effect on the world, even if it's a tiny effect. And the player should understand what happened. If your action does something that you don't know about, it still doesn't feel like you did anything. This is the principle of feedback. For every action a player takes, the game should respond in some way. When you make a skill shot and miss, if there are no side effects, then there is no feedback. By simply adding an aspect that doesn't depend on hitting a target, the player feels like their ability did something no matter what. For example, one common side effect of skill shots and MOBAs is to reposition your character. Thematically, these are often some flavor of dash attack. ETC's power slide ability, for example, lets him move a short distance while stunning enemies he passes through. Even if you miss hitting anything, the ability to slide around can help you avoid enemy skill shots and set up future attacks. With certain upgrades, it can even let you bypass terrain obstacles. Reason 2. Level the playing field between players of different skill levels. If a large part of a game relies on you being able to land skill shots, then if you are bad at doing that, the game will not be as fun for you. In a multiplayer game, this might even lead to new players being unable to compete at all. But if skill shot abilities have other effects besides whatever happens when you hit the target, players can engage with those parts of the ability. For example, in King Arthur's Gold, I am not a very good archer, hitting moving targets is difficult. However, uh, the special arrows have useful effects when used against the terrain, which is generally easy to hit. Fire arrows will set wooden walls on fire, water arrows can put out fires, and bomb arrows can blow up multiple tiles. Because the game allows for switching classes, I can swap to archer to burn down some enemy buildings from afar, and then swap back to a non-skill shot based class afterward if I don't feel up to attacking the enemy units. Reason 3. Add personality to the abilities so that they feel different from each other. Skill shots that only differ in what happens when you land a shot can feel samey, especially to unskilled players who may not be able to reliably trigger the effect. What does it matter if an ability sets its target on fire or freezes them if you can't hit them in the first place. A great example of this is Mage Quit, 
a game where practically every ability is a skill shot, players draft new abilities in between rounds, which in theory allows for customizing your build in response to your opponents. However, many of the spells only do something if they hit a target, which makes the choice of which to take feel less impactful. The really interesting abilities in Mage Quit are the ones that do something even if you don't hit your target. Flame Leash, for instance, pulls an enemy to you, but if you don't hit an enemy, you can instead use it to move around. Fissure creates a massive wall that splits the battlefield, and my personal favorite, Wormhole, creates two worms that function as portals and also attack enemies that get too close. If you contrast these with spells like Fireball, Rock Shot, and Time Bomb, you can see how much character the side effects add. Reason 4. Consolidate abilities to reduce the mental burden on your players. It is easier for a player to keep track of one ability that does two things rather than two abilities that do one thing. This means reducing the number of keys the player needs to press or the number of inventory items the player needs to keep track of. This frees up space to give players other abilities to use. This is especially true of movement-related abilities, but it works with pretty much anything. If you have an effect that doesn't seem impactful enough to deserve a unique action, consider tacking it on to a skill shot instead. For example, in King Arthur's Gold, arrows that hit terrain can be used by your allies as makeshift ladders to help them climb impassable walls. This effect is very niche, and is usually not very useful since there are other ways to get past walls. Using a player's valuable mental real estate on a ladder arrow would be a waste for such a small benefit. However, because the effect is built into the standard arrow, players can just use it when they need to and forget about it the rest of the time. This is one area where video games have a major advantage over board games, it is possible to create niche mechanics that only matter in select circumstances without having to worry about the rules burden it puts on players. So what sort of side effects can we add to our skill shots? We've already seen some examples of movement effects and effects that modify the terrain in some way. Simple stat buffs also work nicely. Aside from power slide moving him around, ETC also has a passive ability that increases his defense, whenever he uses an ability. You don't necessarily even need to tie the benefit to the actual use of the skill shot. Maybe you can choose an upgrade for your character that gives them a new skill shot and passively boosts their speed at the same time, so that even if you have trouble landing the shot, you still benefit from the movement bonus. Lots of video games have skill shot abilities, whether they are multiplayer or single player games. So if you're designing a game where players fire projectiles at difficult to hit targets, think about what sorts of side effects you might be able to add, or how you might be able to combine other abilities or mechanics with your skill shots.